hi friends welcome back to my youtube channel oh my gosh it's been a minute since i uploaded i talk a little bit about that on this video so you'll see but in this vlog i kind of just want to have fun hang out show you what a week in my life looks like ever since i started my art career it's been crazy out here life is weird but i love it I feel really good right now. This day though that I was filming the video, oof, like the one you're seeing right now, I was not okay. I was in a really bad mindset. The whole entire day, I literally had no energy, no motivation. I was super depressed. I ended up just forcing myself to do what I had to do and also record it. And surprisingly, that made me feel so much better. I kind of had better productivity vibes. I felt better about it. It made me feel like I can do this. I can do life and I can be happy. I'm already getting dramatic. I hope you guys are entertained by this video. It's really just me getting ready for the market that's coming up this weekend. Did I already mention that? I'm doing a market. I'm also gonna show you guys a lot of behind the scenes what it takes to run my business and go out in these markets. Guys, bad news though the market did end up getting canceled it's so sad i'm so sad so i don't show you in this video what it looks like to be at the market uh i'm sad but next time i'll definitely show you so this video does end kind of abruptly but i hope you still enjoy it Look at how beautiful it is outside today. No clouds. Ugh, I'm still kind of sleepy. I'm about to go to the coffee shop and get a little latte moment. I have to get my day started like desperately. I made a to-do list, so today's Wednesday. I have a market this Sunday. This is all the stuff I have to do today. I'll keep you updated throughout the day like as I'm checking these off. My favorite thing to do right now is listen to podcasts from 2019 because life just hit different in 2019 like I miss it so much. The days before 2020. In the morning I like to do my thing and go to a coffee shop. I really bring my journal, my iPad and I just kind of vibe. I get a latte. I usually always get a lavender latte but this time I'm gonna get a gingerbread latte. Oh my gosh, my camera is about to, what was I saying? Gingerbread latte is so good. And they're about to be like done with it cause it's gonna be the new year. So I have to get it like every single day until they're gone. I'm really happy to be back vlogging. I made another video like talking about how I was gone from YouTube and like what I've been up to. And I kinda don't wanna post it anymore. Like. After a while of filming a video and editing it, I'm sick. Like, I don't want to post it anymore. And that one, I'm just like, uh, I'm, I'm cringed out already, so I'm like, I don't know if I'll post it. But it's basically explaining why I've been gone, like from YouTube, which... To make a long story short, honestly, I wasn't inspired to upload. I was feeling like, I was just feeling really weird. <laughs> my camera like just flew can you even see me let me not say that though cuz like I don't know I kind of lost sight I was getting really busy with work oh and then my laptop stopped working I had a MacBook I had it for like two years and it just completely stopped working out of nowhere and that's what I used to edit my videos I use Final Cut Pro it was tough out here I was like really sad though that like all the time that I wasn't uploading or like filming videos like I was filming here and there but I wasn't making like 
anything. Like, it, 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 it didn't make sense to, like, put it all together. It was just random things I was doing. I missed it, like, so much. And I thought I was gonna be weird. Like, it did feel kind of weird when I first took out my camera the last time I filmed a video. I felt weird. I was, like, kind of nervous. But now I feel normal. I think because I talk to myself all the time in my head, thinking about... <laughs> This is, I always see people talk about this on TikTok, like they say um, they're doing like a makeup tutorial in their head, like when they're doing their makeup. And I do that too, but I do that throughout my entire day. I'm like vlogging in my head like a weirdo. I just got to the coffee shop. I'll see y'all in there. All right, I'm back home. Let me show you what I got. Well, I didn't buy anything, but I mean what I got done. So. This is my journal that I use to plan like business things. I always bring this to the coffee shop with me. I always bring this one because I like to plan in it. So let me show you an example. Oh, I was reading, I wanted to share this. I like to reread this a lot because it kind of helps me to like stay on track with the things I want to do. Lately, I haven't been reading this at all and I feel like I kind of like lost motivation, I forgot my purpose in life. I have such memory loss that I wrote this and I don't, I didn't even remember writing this. I don't know if this is a procrastination thing, but for me it's actually like a visualization, manifestation, manifest, manifesting thing. Okay, so I put how to get to where I wanna be. The first thing I wrote here says, take care of me, my car. Me knowing damn well I need an oil change. My home my priorities and do what I want and what I need to do period these things are very small things that I do feel like will completely change like my mindset when I take care of myself and like my room and everything you know keeping it like clean I feel better and I haven't been doing that lately like I haven't been working out I haven't been just on top of my stuff you know so I needed to read that Maybe that resonates with you too, I don't know. Anyways, let me show you what I did. Oh, this is the front, but then I turn it upside down and I started actually writing in on this side. I'm actually just kind of like scripting what I'm gonna be doing like this week for this video so I can kind of stay on track with that. And I got my lavender latte. They were out of the gingerbread latte, which I was like really sad, I was so sad. That means I'm never getting it, it again. So I got the lavender. It still hits, it's good. I'm gonna take these down and go back to listening to my podcast so that I can get it going. I got these new scissors, spring loaded so I don't get carpal tunnel. I didn't get to finish fully this coaster so I'm just gonna cut out the little strawberry and make this like a mini one. Do you think it'll fit? It fits this, maybe small drinks, but I'm gonna sell it for a little bit cheaper. I've made this design like three times and every time it sells like really really fast so I'm gonna keep making those and I do them in a different color too let me see oh I don't have it well I last time my last drop I did them in like three different colors and there was these girls that bought them together like one I think one got the green one and one got a pink one or something like that and it was so cute because they were like besties or it seemed like they were besties I was like, that is so cute. I've been making these two, like the little yin yang, and they sell really good at the markets. So I made three different kinds, I'll show you. Here's the green one. This is a new color. First time doing this one, but it's blue. I love the coasters so much. I wanna dedicate like an entire canvas to just making coasters because they're so cute and like I could do so many different little designs. Here's the strawberry obsessed. Seeing this in the camera just makes me so happy. Like, this is my first time doing a design like this. I hope this one does good because I think it's really cute. I always think like if it doesn't sell like I can just keep it for myself. That's why I make things like I like too. <laughs> the mushrooms have also been selling really really good. Every single time I drop new mirrors the mushrooms have sold out every single time, so I'm gonna keep doing them. Low key though, I might try to do something else because I am getting kind of like bored of them. I don't know, I am, but I'm, I don't know if I'll just like maybe switch up the design. But here 
is the pink one. I haven't like trimmed them up at all. This is me just like taking them down. But if this is the first time you've seen my mirrors, well, a mirror goes right here. And then they're for the wall. Last night I was thinking I should just do some straight up wall decor, like rug wall decor. And I kind of thought of doing something like a lavender or like a flower, just something cute for the wall. Here is the green one. There was a girl one time that bought this green one that I made, not exactly like this, but it was like this color. And she was so cute, she was wearing um, a sweater the exact same green color. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I just love seeing like the girlies that buy my stuff. They're just so cute. Love y'all. Like I've been making these mirrors for a while and why haven't I thought to make just regular wall decor? I mean, no mirror or anything like that. Just straight up cute stuff you can put on your wall. I think maybe the same size so it can be like kind of in the same price range. Just like a cute little mini rug for your wall. See how all of the little fluffs are sticking out? I still have to go in and like trim them up. I just took the whole thing down, but last coaster I wanted to show you, Kirby, period. So cute, I love Kirby so much. And last time I made one of these, I've only made one before, and it sold to this girl that was so cute. She also bought, I think, a bear mirror, which let me show you the bear. The last bear mirror I made was brown, but this one's blue. I still have to fix him up, his eyes look kinda creepy, but the mirror's gonna go right there. I love him. But I think I'm gonna do more of the brown ones. I don't know, like what other colors should I do of the bears? I think that one's really cute. This whole time I was thinking, is he actually cute or is he creepy? Hmm. Let me know if you have any thoughts on that. All right, so all of these are out here. I just place them on any surface I can. Uh, I'm like not comfortable. I need to fix my area to be more comfortable for me because this is just not working. But gotta work with what I got. So I just finished cutting out all of these backings for the coasters. Oh, I'm just gonna get to work, guys. Okay, I just finished this little small stack of coasters. Oh, I just realized I still have to do this one. Okay, hold on. Okay, I just finished it. It's so cute. Here's my little stack. Why did I think I made way more than that? So I'm definitely gonna have to make more. But I was watching this video. I love Natalie. I've talked about her like at least three times on my channel. But let me pause it. She's talking about how much money she made on YouTube AdSense. We're talking about this reminded me. I really never have mentioned this on my channel. But I got monetized back in September, I think. Or sometime around then. Like, I hit a thousand subscribers. It was, yeah, it was actually right when I hit a thousand subscribers I got monetized. And, girls, I haven't been uploading. So, I can show you guys a, like, what I made on YouTube in 2020. Or, what year are we in? 2021. Spoiler alert, it's really not a lot because I, I wasn't uploading, like, the past eight months I haven't been uploading. And I think my highest earning video got a copyright strike, so I have been making like 30 cents, but I haven't been uploading, you know? I'm back to it though, so I'll, I'll let you guys know, like I'll keep you updated. If you like have any questions, DM me on Instagram. I can like tell you about the um, monetization process, because I've talked to some people in person that have like asked me a lot of questions about YouTube and like, does it make you money? And yeah, it's making me money, like, I guess a dollar is still a dollar, but it's not making me, like, a full-time income, obviously. Right now, I'm getting, like, a thousand views a month, which is so low, but back when I was uploading a lot, um, like, back in, even in quarantine, like, I remember I was getting, like, 10,000 views a month, which is probably the most my channel has ever gotten just in the time that I've been uploading, but now that... It's kind of slow out here with these uploads. I really get like a thousand views a month, which even that I'm kind of like surprised by. <laughs> like how, I don't know, people still watch my videos. So here's the little finished 
coasters thing the very last thing I'm gonna do before I go to the market is like lint roll and kind of vacuum them but I'm gonna wait just in case you know they get messy here is the strawberry I love her so much this is what my normal strawberry designs look like they just have the coaster with it I can't I I just had to cut it out like this because I couldn't end up finishing it like this. Yes. Oh, this one came out like really big. It's like kind of lopsided, but someone will still love it. This one, period. My new design, it's giving retro girl, Kirby. Mm, Kirby, I love him so much. This was the easiest part and I did it first, so now I have to do the mirrors, which are way harder. Change of plans, I need to eat, I'm so hungry. This is weird. So I'm on TikTok, this girl, she's like, okay, let me take my headphones out so you can listen. <laughs> I, I've only listened to the first like two seconds of it, but I was just like, this is ironic. Life hack, I've been pretending like I'm on a reality TV show. Like, the Truman Show, that's me. And this helps because every time something bad happens, I'm just like, okay, well, this is this is for the plot. My car broke down on the side of the highway. That's for the fans. We need a little bit of character development. Some friendship drama? Okay, what's, what's a show without some drama? I went out, drank too much, embarrassed myself pretty badly, blew all my money. That was a little much, but things were getting boring and we wanted to get renewed for another season. And this really helps. I've been thinking more positively. Life hack, I've been pretending. I was thinking earlier today, I need to drink water so bad. But I was thinking that, I feel like I'm having a really good day today and I actually feel really happy I feel like myself again, and I'm like, is it because I'm making a video? Like, is it because I'm documenting my life and like, I don't wanna be sad on camera? Probably. So yeah, life hack. It's kind of like the thing of like romanticizing your life. I mean, you can romanticize the sad things too by documenting it. I just saw something about vision boards. Are you guys doing a vision board this year? I do one pretty much every year. I don't do like um, a physical one. I always do it on my laptop. Whenever I use my laptop, I see it. It's like my wallpaper. Wait. Tomorrow is the last day of this year. Oh my God. I'm gonna do it sometime this week, I guess. Yeah, today or tomorrow. I'm ending this vlog on Sunday, so yeah. Got three days. I'll eventually show you guys, but wow. I totally forgot about the new year. It felt kind of like far away, but literally in two days. That was good, but I just ate so fast. Back to the grind, girlies. What she wants to be in the sun too. I just made a TikTok. Go follow me on TikTok. This is literally how I feel today. Anyways, I want to hit 10k. I know that's kind of a reach because I have like not even 7k, but I'm trying out here. So go follow. Bye, Mochi. I got three down, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six left to go. So I'm gonna try to finish it today. I'm feeling so good because yesterday I got so much stuff done. So today is just like all easy stuff. Here's my to-do list. 
Um, this was from yesterday, and I already checked off the ones that I did, but I still had room, so I'm gonna use up the paper as much as I can, but the purple, that's my to-do list for today. So it's really easy stuff. I thrifted my jacket, and I love it. It's kind of like teddy bear vibes. 